I'm going to show you how to create layers and parenting and groups in Maya 2011. Let's go into polygons, make two cones, two spheres, and two cubes. Hawa. Oh, wow. All right. Hit five to smooth shade all. Doesn't do anything. Uh, we can move these independently of each other, and they have no influence on each each other because they're all in the default layer. Let's start grouping. Control G. Select both of them. Control G. Shift select these two. Control G. Now they're all on their own groups and the objects are dependent on that group layer. But within that group, the objects are independent of each other and we can still move those around. Okay, so let's rename these for clarity. Sphere, group, cone, group, and cube, group. Alright, now let's create layers from selected. Layers, create layer from selected. Let's name it cube layer. Hit save. Let's select the cone group. Layers, create layer from selected. Let's name it cone layer. <laughs> and we can select a color for each one of these layers so we can pick them apart easier. Okay, now we want sphere. Uh, let's do something different from this one. Let's go layers, create empty layer, and then we can choose the layer, right click, add selected objects. Let's rename it Sphere Layer and set the display type to Template Save. What does that mean? It means it's displayed in wireframe, but we can still see the position of the objects. If we set it to Reference, it'll do Smooth Shade, and we still can't select the objects. Turning visibility on and off does not mean that uh, we can't move the objects. See, I'm moving it around, and yet the layer is still invisible. I turn it back on, their position's changed. Uh, now let's go to Window, Hypergraph Hierarchy. And there's different ways we can set up parenting. Let's go to Cohen Group and MMB drag it over to Cube Group. It's now parented underneath Cube Group. Um, and you'll see that P-cube 1 and 2 have the same uh, priority as the uh, cones. But if we select cube group, we can still move these around. 